Woo. YouTube and Facebook. What's going on? <laughs> Look at Achilles running back there. <laughs> going to Zeus. Nico here, Brown Family Farm. If you think I look the same as my previous video, um, that because that's because it's the same day. Um, I was a little disappointed in myself for even allowing myself to get down because it's so unlike me. But like I said at the end of that video, I'm human. So as you can see, this video is a different day that you're watching it. But as far as getting things done, being solution oriented, this is the same day. Um, I just got off of the live with Cog Hill Farm, which means I had a little over an hour just to sit there, listen to them, converse, chat with some of you in the uh, comments. And I left that call with a can-do, uh, I left that live with a can-do attitude. And I said, you know what? Let's get this done. So it's the same day, Graceland, we're knocking it out. Let me show you what I have so far for these babies right here, Elvis and Priscilla. <laughs> Can y'all see them in there? Hey y'all, hey y'all. So let me, uh, let me show you what we have so far. By the way, there's a uh, Goatopia. If you're new to this channel, I do have a video, um, the building of Goatopia, and I post at least two shorts a day. And a lot of times it's of the baby goats because they're kids, goat kids, come on now. Cuteness overload. Um, but you can see that in the video or my shorts, but let me show you this. And as I show you this, I spy with my little eye, Zeus. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I went ahead and did these two sections right here. I just wanted to see how it would work out. But we're using horse panel, using washers with screws, and then the, um, also reinforce coming through with staples. But I did those two sections really quick off camera just to see how it would go. And I think it looks amazing. It looks exactly how I wanted it to look. I love it. What do you think, Achilles? Achilles is a black Russian terrier, by the way. I know we have a lot of new viewers. Um, Zeus, who you just saw, is an Irish wolfhound. And he, uh, Zeus spends his time with the bucks. Um, Achilles guards the, what we call the house yard. But, uh, yeah, I think it looks good, y'all. And by the way, the opening that you see in the middle is like that on purpose. It will allow for us to throw food to them, feed them, interact with the peacocks without having to go through this door right here, which is a 40, a 40 by 72 inch door, I believe, fully functioning. Oh, look at that. We're doing things, Achilles. I'm feeling so motivated now, y'all. Oh, so yeah, I'm gonna set you up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna time lapse it or not, but we're about to through. We're about to get this side done, that side done. I'm gonna get as much done as I can today because once again, I'm re-motivated. Woo! I'm feeling like myself again. Let's make it happen, y'all. So welcome. Um, we want our peacocks to be free ranging, but there's a couple of issues there. The first one is in our area, I kid you not, and I just learned this maybe about two weeks ago. We have at least, at minimum, five to six peacocks in this area. I thought it was just one that I was hearing a lot, but it's like five to six. And there's also some peahens. So our concern is if they're free, A, will during mating season, will Elvis try to go to those peahens or peacocks to protect what he believes is his territory? B, will they try to come here so it's better if they're enclosed? C, um, they weren't born on our farm, so we're also worried about them escaping. So at minimum, we want them to be um, in an enclosure. 
which is what we're building for them. Well, this is part two. They already have Graceland. You can see it right here. Graceland is getting renovated. <laughs> Side one is done, y'all. Check it out. Just have to figure out what I want to do in the middle part. I'm either going to put the same fencing, but I would love to put some kind of design, maybe get a sign made that says Graceland. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do. I mean, obviously I need to enclose it, um, but what could we do there? That window I bought would look, okay. So many ideas, all right? But top, bottom, done next side all right y'all this is going to be a roost by the way so just want to show you that that side is done so once again opening is on purpose it is worth noting that the entire perimeter of this thing so the entire perimeter all the way around and then around even that portion, which is going to be attached to this, is going to be predator proof. So not worried about that. I'm also going to go on the bottom right there and attach, um, attach some additional protection as well as on the bottom right there. But I think it looks good, y'all. Losing a little sunlight right now, but my goal is to get the back top portion done and then I'll just pick up tomorrow because the bottom piece would be easy. And I think based on the way this day started, oh, I would just feel so much better. All right, Egypt, how do you think it looks? I think it looks very good. Yeah, I think Achilles agrees. <laughs> but yeah, about to put that up really quick and call it a night um, and actually go edit the video that you're going to be watching that's the prequel to the video you're watching now, if that makes any sense. <laughs> All right, y'all. Good morning. How's it going, Achilles? Hey, Butterscotch. How you doing? It feels great out here today, y'all. Look at all the babies. <laughs> Hey, fancy pants. What's going on, girl? Good morning. But yeah, it feels great out here today, y'all. And just want to show you what was accomplished yesterday before we get back to it. So as you can see, fully enclosed on this side, just have to do this middle section. Was also able to get this side right here enclosed on the top and bottom over here got the top done i think it looks amazing so what's on the docket for today this bottom portion which shouldn't take that long the roof which is just going to be a black tarp similar to what we have on top of you can kind of see it right what we have on top of graceland 1.0 over there um, I got to get the hardware back on the door. I have a door handle that I thrifted. Y'all know I love antiquing. I thrifted one and a half years ago in Nashville, Tennessee at an antique shop. And I've been waiting to use it. Finally have a use for it. So, hey, if you see something out there you like, man, and it's a good deal, go ahead and snatch it up because you'll you'll use it eventually. Um, but yeah, get the roof on, finish the fencing, um, most likely get started laying out the, uh, the, you know, predator apron, if you will, around the entire perimeter. And yeah, it's going to be a great day. We're going to manifest that y'all. It's going to be a great day. All right, y'all. So my dad is, um, spraying down this window that I got from Petals from the past at Antiques in the Garden. And uh, it's just a, a sealer, sealant, because it's gonna be outdoors. Just help it uh, resist the elements. And we put this on everything that we build outdoors. So the porch bed, porch swings, um, the planter boxes, all of that. 
and some of those things are close to two years old if not two years old and they still look brand new because they've been protected from the elements so that's what he's doing we're going to spread it front and back and then figure out where we want to put it all right y'all so if you remember this is the window that i got from antiques in the garden that pedals from the past in alabama and uh on the video that uploaded prior to this one someone actually commented that like hey is that the window from antiques in the garden and great eye by that person it is really been trying to figure out how to best use it in this build um i only have one so i didn't want to build it into the structure itself because i felt that would be too random and not symmetrical <laughs> so i would just rather use it as a decor piece something that welcomes you into graceland so we're going to hang it right here above the doorway and i just want to see how it looks and if i like it it'll stay there uh probably more like if natalie likes it it'll stay there uh, but let me know what y'all think in the comments below if you don't think that's the best uh place for it what is the best place let me know in the comments All right, y'all, check it out. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments below. I really like it. So my dad and I were figuring out where to put it and we like this idea because it's not fixed. I can take it down at any point because it's simply on hooks. Um, also, if it's windy enough, it will be able to uh, sway ever so gently, adding some motion to the uh, structure. All righty, y'all, check it out. My dad and I just put the shade cloth over the top and we were just talking because before we put it up, um, if you could see me right now, hold on, let me see. Hopefully, can you see me on the camera? Yes. All right. I was sweating. I was sweating because the sun, that Florida sun came out of nowhere. And when we put the shade cloth up almost immediately, the temperature dropped and it feels so amazing in here. So what we started with is each corner of the aviary and now we're about to go through and do the perimeter and get it as tight as we can and I like it y'all I think uh, it's coming out or turning out really good this still allows for sunlight to come through but just a, a little bit of shade for them if and when needed so we're about to finish um, putting the shade cloth on then on this side over here we're going to put a shade cloth as well so it'll be shade on this side shade on top but they'll have sunlight coming through from this side that side and obviously a little bit from the shade cloth as well well good morning there everybody day number five can you believe it have my main man achilles with me my sidekick at the time we bought him it was the fifth um yeah the fifth rarest dog breed in the world so i'm not sure where it ranks now but regardless a pretty rare dog breed and many people think he's uh some type of poodle mix or um, a bouvier bouvi um are the two main ones people get him confused with and his uh cut right now is not standard we cut him down low normally uh the standard look you would think he was a bear or at least that's what people say all the time so be on the lookout for his hair to grow back and you will see what I mean. But uh, that storm yesterday was no joke, y'all. Um, but before I get bad weather today, definitely want to get back to the aviary. Original goal of two days, three days tops. Once again, this is day number five, but I have some things to fix. Let me show you. And look at this, y'all. This is one of my favorite things in the morning. When they first notice or recognize that one of us is out here and they come on over. And one great way to get a goat to move fast is to have some grain. But uh, <laughs> we actually haven't given them grain in about a week or so. Um, 
they've been all on grass and it looks great. Like if you look at and uh, rough ridge, there's a little bit of that in here, but uh, if you look at this grass over here and then I pan to what we call the house yard, you could kind of see the difference. The house yard is definitely taller, um, AKA needs to be cut. So they've done a great job, but hey, good morning. So this one is Peaches. This is Peaches Baby Butterscotch. This is Fancy Pants right there. And that's Fancy Pants Mama, Snow White. Hey, Fancy Pants. <laughs> and we call her Fancy Pants because in the back, it looks like she has pants on. You could kind of see it. Right. And here comes everyone else. So right there we have Mama Goat, we have uh, Caramel, we have Carol, and in the back there we have Valentine and her baby Spirit. And then we have our main girl Frankie right here. Frankie, have you been watching me do the project? It's right there. Look, it's right there within your view. I've been hearing you. You've, uh, you've also helped motivate me, healing from your uh, injuries as well as you have. Very motivational. But I'm gonna get to work shortly, but you should have told me about what the rain did over here. So if you look over here, y'all, you can see part of their shade cloth came down because the wind was that strong, I suppose. So quick fix, gonna rehang it or reattach it up there so that they will be good to go as they play, which I'm pretty sure the baby goats will get to playing on their playground shortly here. Alrighty, y'all, coming in here to fix this, and I told you it wouldn't be long before they got to it. <laughs> They'll be ripping and running before we know it, as soon as they're done with their breakfast. Ain't that right, spirit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so all the goats really do love their playground. Um, and we do rotational graze. So right now we happen to have the does in here, but the bucks, they love to uh, play on this as well. Look at Tucker. Went to go say good morning to Elvis and Priscilla. Hey, Tucker. But uh, this might be too far. No, it's not too far. So there's three wire spools over there in the pasture with the bucks. So they love to lie on those and, and uh, knock them over as well. That is a project that is yet to be completed. I need to figure out, do I need more spools or how I wanna connect them, maybe add some ramps or something. That'd be more simple of a playground, if you will. Um, but for those that are unfamiliar, but for those that are unfamiliar, AKA you're a new viewer, um, over here is Goatopia. That's what we call our goat playground and we've had Many questions about it, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. So over here we have two platforms that they love to jump on, hop on, take naps on, just chill on, they love it. We have these tires that help them get up there. You see fancy pants right there. And uh, more than one of them can get up there at a time. Um, so they love, 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 love their platforms over here heading this direction and check out this sign y'all tractor supply find <laughs> kids at play but um over here is the main structure i guess you could say so we have many little decor items right inside <clears throat> it does stay dry um and you can tell that it's not muddy right there but there's another platform that they like to lie and sleep on. Uh, they have their minerals and uh, some baking soda over there. Baking soda for goats, think of it like uh, Pepto-Bismol for, for us, for humans. Um, they consume it as they need it. We have a place to feed them. And then up top, which they could get to via the ramp, what we have is um, another area to feed them. And they like to run up run up the ramp, go up there and play, of course. Over here, we have their famous swing. 
that they love. They get on all the time so they could get on there and swing. We have some brushes over here, which you can see get heavily used. There's all kind of goat fur in there so they could give themselves some back and butt scratches. And then on this side of Goatopia, we have a slide that they do use. They do go down. Um, Spirit, who's the one over there, Spirit uses the slide the most. <clears throat> then we have our final platform with a tire for them to get up there. So just a tour of Goatopia. Um, I do post two shorts a day typically on days where I don't upload long form content, right Spirit? And a lot of times that is uh, videos right now because baby goats are so cute of them just being cute and playing and running around and doing what they do. So um, be on the lookout for my reels and shorts as well. But I'm gonna get that fixed really quick and then get back to, hey Fancy Pants, get back to Graceland, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all, so as you can see, I have the side shade cloth up and I think the video actually is doing a good job of showcasing that sunlight's still gonna be able to get through. Um, so this isn't a hindrance at all, just providing a little bit more shade for them. So they have the choice to make, and by they, I mean Elvis and Priscilla, by the way, so that they have the choice to decide if they want to be in the sun, in the shade, what have you. Now I'm just about to secure the rest of these uh, flanges that are not secured. And for that, I'm just simply going to be using uh, zip ties. I wanna tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice, that's how much I'm gonna tell you that I'll miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know just how much I tell you So now getting even deeper into the details, about to hang these planners I got from Walmart on sale for a really good deal. And I'm gonna hang them off of these right here. Does this look familiar to you? If so, let me know in the comments down below. Where did I get this? I will add that it wasn't this color. I spray painted it black, so it, like everything else on the property, either black and white or white and black. Let's see how it looks. Drive the same roads every day. We both get there our own way. This different two souls can be but we both grow from the same sorrow if we both know we'll be together tomorrow i can be like a tree in the wind same old roots but i can bend turning to understand and sway together y'all so the rain is on and off 
but we're getting things done as you can see we have the new tarp around the original um graceland so now moving on to my next project and look behind me y'all y'all see that this is what i've been battling for five days that right there geez um but we're getting it done we're getting it done so let me show y'all this all right y'all so we have two things here and in this economy you have to really use your ingenuity so i hope that's what this is let me know in the comments down below if you think this is a smart idea or idea or not but what i have here is 12 mil extreme duty tarp it's black so it'll match it is a 12 foot by 16 foot and what i plan to do with this is fold it in half to make it a 12 foot by eight foot and put it up on top of the roof because if you remember from that end right there eight feet out i said i wanted to put a metal roof because the the roof is going at a downward slope so water should run off the back but right now there's a shade cloth up there the water's just going to run through now here's the thing three foot piece uh three foot sections of metal roof four foot sections of metal roof are anywhere from 30 to 80 dollars a piece a sheet and if i'm doing eight feet then i'm gonna need either three sheets if it's three foot or four or, or two sheets if it's eight foot but really even if that's the case in order to get the overlap correctly i would probably need three sheets so to make it easy let's say i need three sheets of each that's a lot of money y'all that tarp was on sale 12 mil 12 mil is the same type of tarp that they would put on your roof if you had a leak or like you see on the roofs after uh flooding tornadoes hurricanes things like that it's 12 mil so this is for an aviary it's going to be perfect and it was 33 dollars 33 dollars so for that whole thing that's going to do an amazing job up there and it's heavy enough to have the catch the water off the roof and have it run down i got it for 33 dollars can't beat that i would have spent easily five times as much on the metal roof pieces because i also would have needed 12 foot sheets for probably 10 times as much the next thing i have here is the same thing i have in a chicken coop um, in order to help ensure that I can A, get 50 pounds of food in here to them at a time, and B, stop their food from getting wet, I have this uh, piece right here. It's four pieces. It's one, two, three, then four. And you fill the food, and it's, you know, gravity fed. So uh, the peacocks will be able to come in here and just pick the food out. And through the top right here, it'll stop the food from getting wet. Everything they sell at Tractor Supply, any of your supply stores, I'm telling you, this is a similar cost. It holds just as just the same amount of food and is gonna protect your uh, food from the elements. So I'm gonna strap that to the, um, I'm gonna strap that to the inside of, of their aviary in this section right here where we put their food. So yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. Let's get it done. All right, everybody. So I think it's finally done. I have Natalie with me, have Egypt with me, Achilles with me, and it's time for the reveal. So mom, Go ahead and turn around. I want you to walk backwards. Really think I put it together okay. for mama. Egypt is helping me guide her I back. I thought this was like a trust fall. <laughs> All right, Killies, here we Killies, go. Killies is behind me. Okay. There we go. He just wants to be a part of it. Don't jump, buddy. Don't jump. All righty. We're almost there. 
Now, stop right there. Don't turn around. Don't turn around, Mama. <laughs> okay. 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 One, two, three. It looks good, babe. <laughs> Do you remember what it was supposed to look like? What the inspiration was that you sent Yeah, me? the picture I sent you. What do you think? I really like it. It's two surprises today. I hope so. Wait, what was the other surprise? A blanket. Oh, I need to see that. I haven't seen it. I've been out here, y'all, so I don't even know about the other one she's talking about. But It looks so good. This is what she sees. And look, he got the little... When did you get these flowers? Looks good, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Hold on one second, Egypt. What's mom pointing at? Numbers in the window. Mm-hmm. What do those numbers mean? This is the address for Graceland, the aviary. Um, let's start with a tour outside. So this is mom's first time seeing it. Egypt's it helped so build good. it, but we're going to start outside before we walk in. My little Hobby so, Lobby find. Yeah, Natalie found that at Hobby Lobby. So let's do the tour outside and then we'll go inside. Oh, babe, these are pretty. When did you get these? Yesterday. Or no, those are from Petals from the Past. It's so is the window that their address is on. I knew that window was new. Mm -hmm. So over here is Graceland, the original Graceland. It's a 10 by 10 by 6 structure that we attached a 3 by 5 to. And that was the room that they could eat in. Yeah. Um, because we can enter through here and as you can see inside of here there's <laughs> the fabric roof the fabric on the perimeter to give them a little bit of protection from the uh, sun a little bit of protection from the elements also so that whatever animal happens to be on the other side isn't bothering them and they're not bothering that animal yeah. Um, for example, the baby goats were super curious about them earlier, which that isn't a problem. We're just still trying to get them used to our property. So they have a roost in that corner, a roost in that corner, a roost in that corner. And as you can see, there's an opening right here that I can fit through, mom can fit through, Egypt can fit through. And that's how we get into this other structure, which has a door right there. So this is Graceland, the original Graceland which is attached to the renovated Graceland. So we just added three bedrooms and one bath. You know what I mean? <laughs> Elvis is going to be so happy. Yeah. So um, once again, the aviary is 12 by 20. Um, we have a fabric cloth on the entire back side. That's why it looks black. We have a fabric, uh, a shade cloth on the roof. Also, earlier, you remember, I was speaking about putting a tarp up top to block water and rain, and that tarp was only $33, and it is significantly cheaper than what I would have paid if I would have got metal roofing. I'll put prices on the screen for what the tarp cost versus what the uh, roofing would have cost for an eight-foot section, an eight foot by 12 foot section. As you can see, to give some elevation, I added those floor, four blocks, those four blocks up top, one, two, three, and four. So it's higher on the front side, lower on the back side, so the water will run down. As Natalie already pointed out, as we walk into the entrance, we have the flowers that we got from Walmart, hanging on the hooks that we got from Petal from the Past, and we painted them black. I think it looks pretty good. This is a Hobby Lobby find that Natalie found. It was 40% off. And during that same day she found that, I found the Home Sweet Home sign, did. which is gonna be on the original Graceland still. But the sign 0415 has been moved to Graceland the aviary. Um, and some of you already guessed in previous videos, and we have a lot of new subscribers. So all of our homes for our animals have addresses. Graceland is 0415. Um, you could kind of see it from here. Goatopia, which is our goat playground, is 0626. 
and all the way over there i'll uh add a shot for you but frankie the emu's house is 0605 and hey tucker many of you already guessed what the significance is all three of those addresses are the birth dates of all of our children and egypt is 0605 so frankie's house has her birth date as an address I no, that's your, your that's the, the year day. you were born. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Um, I mentioned earlier in the video <clears throat> that when you're thrifting, when you're antiquing, if you like something, buy it because you never know when you're going to need it. I bought these in Nashville almost a year and a half ago. And I've just been sitting on them, waiting for the right time to use them. So it looks so good. Let's babe. go ahead and go in. And I have two of these. There's one on the front. There's one on the back. Oh, you did this so let's go ahead and close the door and get Achilles used to that he has to remain out there, which he does a great job of. But um, yeah, let me zoom out so we could kind of get a better view. So this is what it looks like inside, y'all. We have the roost that I've been talking about the entire build. So this is a roost for them. Putting this in here is something I saw on Pinterest. It's another roost, essentially. They'll sit on there, roost on there, you know, um, high off the ground, so they'll like that. Uh, you can see just how much shade is provided while we're in here, and it is evening, so there will be shots in future videos of daytime. But I would like to add, as we look out onto the rest of the property, from inside, it's just a beautiful view. Love it. Over here, this eight foot section is where the metal roofing was gonna be, but instead I did the tarp. You can see it gets darker over here. Um, no water is gonna get through there. So while they're roosting right here or doing anything in this area, they will remain dry, which is beautiful. <laughs> Look at Achilles. Now, you may be wondering, how are we gonna connect Graceland to the renovation this av aviary yeah. to make one big beautiful home. All right, mommy and uh, Egypt, how are we gonna connect um, the original Graceland to the renovated Graceland to make one big mansion? How are we gonna do that? We are going to use some zip ties mm -hmm. and cut it open and attach the zip ties to the new Graceland mm -hmm. and the old Graceland. Yep. So. Just like I showed you in the original Graceland, the entrance of how they're in there right now, you see how they're in that three by five foot section? They got in there through the opening that we cut. They already know how to use it. They know to go back and forth through there. So we're gonna do the same thing right here. We are gonna cut an opening right here, like a rectangle. And they will know that they can enter through here. So this thing really is a mansion, y'all. They could come in here, they could get up high. I'm gonna add some roost yeah. up high for them on, in each corner. Um, they could go into original Graceland if they wanna to go to one of those three roosts. They can go over to the three by five foot section. And the thing I like most about this is we could have separate uses for this. So let's say in the future we have chicks, whether they're peacocks or chickens, we can close that entrance off mm -hmm. and we'll be able to uh, use that as like a brooder, for example, or a grow out area if we need to, because the peacocks will still have all of this space over here. So the only, so the only thing I'll add is they do have their water right here. They have this feeder that I showed y'all earlier. We'll be able to get 50 pounds of feed in there and it's a gravity feeder. So it'll force food up through the top here and they'll be able to get in there and just peck out their food. Um, it essentially looks like the letter J. <laughs> and I built this right here. And essentially this protects anything from getting in there from the top um, and water. If it's raining and water is coming down from the top, bring y'all down slowly so I don't make you dizzy. No water will get in there and it just slides in and out. You see that? So I can put it in there 
and it just slides in. So what do you think about that? I like it. You like that? And Mama, you just mentioned something else we could add in here. What are you thinking? We can put some chairs in here mm -hmm. and come hang out with them. Yeah, I'm thinking like maybe on this back wall or on that corner over there, we could put a nice bench in here mm -hmm. because it is really well shaded as we head into these Florida summers and we'll be able to sit in here and uh, relax with them. And I've seen that on Pinterest, uh, someone that had um, a bench in their aviary. So, you know, I thought it looked very good. Especially as we start to bond with them a little bit more. Yep. Yeah. Um, the last thing that we'll add before we let y'all go, because I know this is a long video. If you're still here, then you are real, like for real, you're a real follower. And I truly appreciate you. Natalie truly appreciates you. Egypt truly appreciates you because <laughs> I know this is a long video, but hopefully this is something that y'all are interested in and wanted to see. Um, but the last thing is mama wanted to put a tree in here. So somewhere in this section, we're gonna add a tree. And as it grows and gets taller, if it gets to a point where it's at the roof, we'll just cut an opening in the roof so it can continue to go through. And we'll frame it out so that, um, you know, water and predators can't get in. Uh, let's see. Remember the opening that you see right here, that's on purpose. Uh, that's something that I've seen at petting zoos um, at normal zoos. It's just a great way for us to be able to throw snacks in here to them, throw feed in here to them without having to come into the aviary. Um, and on this back side right here, there's an opening as well. And we purposefully didn't put it up against the fence. As you can see, uh, OG Graceland goes all the way to the fence. I wanted to keep a section right here in case we ever need to get back here, but I am gonna eventually cover this entire section with signs, this entire wall, kind of like we did for the back of Frankie's house. Yeah. Uh, and we love our signs. If you've been watching our videos, you've seen signs everywhere. We truly love them. If you have some lying around, just saying, <laughs> we'll hang them. But um, we're gonna end up uh, covering that opening. Um, even though it can have the same use, we're gonna cover it with signs yeah. as we get them. Um, so yeah. Anything that you want to add, Mama? You did good. Any, babe. Anything you want to add for for your husband? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear you. Is there anything you wanted to add for your husband? You did a great job, babe. Oh, oh, thank I you. love it. Thank you so much. It's been a labor of love. Five, almost six days in the rain. Uh, some adversity to overcome, but. It looks good. This is, you know, most girls for like their push gear for when they have a baby, they want like flowers or like a purse or something. This is what I wanted. It makes me happy. So thank you, babe. I'm gonna go. You're welcome. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. Thank you once again for sticking around. Uh, remember, until the 29th of April, our merch is on sale 15% off. That's just like a welcome to merch sale, I guess you could say. Um, T-shirts, short sleeve, long sleeve, water bottles, bags, backpacks, thermoses, stickers, it's all on there. And all of those things go to helping out the farm and we would truly appreciate it. Um, we also have a PayPal down in the description. Only if it's on your heart um, and you wanna help out the farm, it's there. Uh, probably the only time I'll mention that from now on it'll just be in the description. Uh, Natalie and I aren't the type of people to ask for anything. Um, if you've watched our video about our story, you probably know that by now. We like to do things ourselves um, with, with yeah. the wisdom and hope of, of those around us and putting those things into action. So, <sighs> All right, y'all. We love y'all. Thank you so much. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Oh, just thought I would add that if you were wanting to see Elvis and Priscilla in their new habitat, I really want to wait until we have daylight to get some good footage for y'all. So another cliffhanger, and I promise you it's not on purpose, but we will have our next upload on Monday um, where we're going to be um, showing a little bit more of the entire property and all of the animals that we have. 
because there's a lot of you that are new and we want to show you um, what our farm and or homestead is about. So stay tuned for Monday. I promise you it's going to be like a ribbon cutting. We're going to cut the ribbon and you'll get to see with us when they go into the aviary for the first time. Peace, for real this time.